Hi YouTube, welcome to the third part of our Hacking Tosh build. In this episode, we will be installing the software and creating the bootable USB stick to install Mac OS X. First of all, we need to go into Dish Utility and select our USB stick that we're going to use, like so. We're going to partition it to one partition. We need to go to options and make sure master boot record is selected. And we'll call this one USB OS X. And as we can see, this USB stick is already formatted for MS DOS FAT, which is not what we're going to use. We need to select Mac OS Extended Journaled. Apply and partition. Okay, now that's formatted, we can run the program at Unibeast, which you download from TonyMacX86.com. I will provide a link in the description below where you can find this website and all the information on how to do this. As we can see, this says, this tool creates a bootable USB drive from your Mac App Store purchase copy of OS X. The resulting USB drive allows for a clean install, upgrade, or use as a rescue boot drive. Please note you do need a legitimate copy of Apple OS X, whether it's Mountain Lion, Lion, or Mavericks. Okay, continue. Okay, so here it says uh, we need to purchase OS X. We've already got that because Mavericks is free. Prepare a USB drive with the dish utility. We've just done that. Create a bootable drive using Unibeast. That's what we're doing right now. So continue. Continue, agree, select the uh, USB drive and continue. Um, we're going to be using Mavericks, so we tick that box. Continue. And this will take 9 megabytes of space to your computer. Okay, install. Okay, folks, that took around about 10 minutes to complete. Now, all we need to do is drag the multi beast folder into the memory stick, like so. And now we're ready to use it on the PC. Okay, folks, so we now have the memory stick plugged into the PC, ready to switch on. We've already set the BIOS to boot from the memory stick, and we've set the BIOS defaults to the optimal defaults. So let's power it up. Okay, so we're now booting off the memory stick. Uh, we're now loading into OS X from the memory stick. Okay, and we're now into the standard setup for OS X, so we're going to use English for the main language. We need to go to Utilities, Disk Utility. In this machine we have got a few hard drives connected, but we're only going to use the one terabyte drive. We're going to set it to one partition. And we're going to call it Mavericks. And the format is for Mac OS Extended Journal. And we'll apply those settings. And partition. and install. This may take a while, so we'll come back as soon as that's done. This does say it's going to take around about 23 minutes.
Okay, folks, so that took around about 15 minutes to do. We're now ready to restart, so let's press that button. And we need to reboot back into the stick once again. This time we need to boot into the Mavericks. Okay, obviously we're in the UK, so we're going to select that. Um, British keyboard. And then we'll just log on to the Wi-Fi. So I'll come back as soon as I've entered that information, just for security purposes. Okay, so now it's asking us if you want to transfer any information. Now we're just going to start from a new installation. And this is where it asks us to put our Apple ID in. So we'll just pop that in and then we'll come back on the next screen. Okay, so we just need to agree to the terms and conditions once again. Agree. Okay, so the last page just asks us to put our name in and some personal information. So I'll skip that as well. And that's asking us if we want to set up the iCloud keychain. So yeah. Because we're making a Hackintosh, we're not going to register this. So we'll just leave that. Okay, set it up the Mac. Okay, and there we go, we're on the desktop. Okay, now we need to go into the USB stick once again and load up the Multibeast folder. Now we need to run Multibeast. And this installs all the drivers for the recommended hardware from the Tony Mac X86 website. So yes, we're going to agree to that because we know where we've downloaded it from. Okay, quick start. And easy beast. Because we're using a UEFI BIOS based motherboard, we're going to use the Quick Start and Easy Beast because it just does everything for you. And then all we need to do is click Build. And we'll agree to the terms and conditions. Okay, so we just got an error message come up saying kernel extension is not from an identified developer, so we'll just press OK anyway. Okay, so that is now all successfully installed. What we can do now is remove the USB stick, restart the machine, and boot straight from the Mavericks partition instead of booting from the memory stick. Okay, folks, so that's Maverick successfully installed on the Hackintosh. If you need any additional information and want to know about any of the parts used, please see the TonyMacX86.com website. I'll put a link in the description below. And as usual, thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share this video with everyone you know.